Hey guys, this is Fox1989, picking up where we left off in our retro Let's Play, Notopia 2. When you last left me, I had just defeated the Zorbon. So I'm gonna go outside, and we'll see that the water is returned to normal. Fox, with the monster dead, I can live in peace. <coughs> Excuse me. Take this blue medallion. Now we're just going to ignore the other half of the village that's just to the left. Because there's pretty much nothing of use here except the medicine shop. And like I said, um, the medicine is 500 gold here. So there's really no sense in buying it here when I can just go back. It takes three minutes. And I can get it at... 200 gold, so I can pay less for two pieces than I can for one from here. So there's still one more thing I need before I can go face Dearth, and that would be the gold armor, which is found in the final labyrinth, so I gotta go through there. Hmm. <sighs> Here we are. Now first, we gotta beat up these spiders. Ow. Now, yeah, be careful if you do get kind of stuck under the uh, sprite of the web, you will get paralyzed. Four statues begin to rumble. Wow, epic rumbling. So here we are in the labyrinth of the four statues. These here are spread slimes. Back when I was younger, I used to call them opposite eggs, because when they spread, they look like, well, opposite eggs. <laughs> See? introduce you to our friend Bash. Ouch. Yeah. See what I mean by you get stuck? This is, as you know, morning breath. Especially with the amount that that accursed flail sucks up, you can never have enough of it. <laughs> it reminds me of um, of a web comic I'd seen at um, Awkward Zombie, run by Katie Tiedrick, or whatever, however you pronounce her last name. Please don't hate me, Katie. Um, check out her comic; it's actually pretty funny. It's mainly about video games, um, things like Zelda games. Um, Smash Bros, and what the hell am I doing? <laughs> it's here, I got a bomb sideways. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a really funny, uh, really funny webcomic, and one of them is about, uh, Twilight Princess and the magic armor that you get from Mallow. Um, due to the fact that it, much like, I think, just like the one in Wind Waker, uh, drains your rupees as you use it, but makes you invulnerable to harm. So they made a comic about, uh, how even, uh, even when he's not there, the little brat is robbing you. There's our key, which means I made a wrong turn, because I gotta go find the armor before I can face the boss. And I'm going to need medicine. Lots and lots and lots of medicine. Mm. 
because the boss of this labyrinth is easily the hardest boss in the entire game. Even harder than Dirth, because Dirth's a piece of cake. Oops. See what I mean by, uh, it's easier to hurt yourself by pulling things in you by accident. Oh crap, I gotta push a stupid rock. Go up. Rainbow drop can get a little annoying to use properly. It's very sensitive. Go up, 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 up. Thank you. about the only good thing about them is they can drop wings of return. Ooh, toasty! Okay, just about there. Ouch. You can't move. There you go. Like I said, I generally like to use my sword most due to the fact that it does do the strongest amount of damage in the game out of all, uh, all my items. Oh, is that really that low? Yeah, it is. Just push this one in for uniformity. these guys off so I can get some hearts off them. I said get hearts, not lose more. Screw this. exit. That's, we should have enough time to go get fresh medicine and then return to just in front of the boss room before I have to end this episode. That's the plan anyways. Now, I can buy medicine in this village too. However, it is once again 500 gold a piece. <clears throat> Whereas I'm going to go to where it's 200 gold. Now, my jack can afford it here, but I'm just that cheap. <clears throat> Poke you. Poke you. Money. Poke you. Oops, missed. Yoink. You know one thing I really prefer about Legend of Zelda compared to this game? Pegasus boots. Shut up. 
Yeah, I just came from Pepe. So don't tell me how to get there. Yeah, I know. You're going to talk to me, too. I know that. I'll rescue your, your precious princess in a few minutes. So that's what I'm here for. <clears throat> oh, wrong way. Oh well, yeah, um... I forgot to check. When I was doing my Keith Courage walkthrough, or my Let's Play, did I show you guys the uh, level select cheat? Or debug mode, actually? I have to go back and check that. So one thing I, I want to do, you know, for the fun, is, you know, show you the different cheats uh, associated with the game. See, I'm not one who says cheating is bad. But I don't like to cheat until a game is already beaten. You know, for fairness. You know, give the game a shot with your own honest skills. Once you've beaten it, then you can cheat the crap out of it. You know, cheats can be really fun sometimes. Screw you. We're sitting at 11 minutes, so I've got a little under, oh, 12 minutes, sorry. A little under three minutes to get back into the labyrinth. No! I pushed the wrong button first. I wanted to, re I wanted to save and then reload. I was running out of time. Frack and a half. That's one of the problems about working uh, working on a demo console like this, uh, uh, a demo. Because like I said, I can only play for up to five minutes at a time, and then it simply just cuts it. You can't even reload a safe state at it once it hits zero. But if you can save and reload before it hits zero, it resets the timer. Just shut up, I'm trying to go. out of it that time at least. Sojo flies. Okay, excuse me. Super Sojo flies. You don't think super buttons are super pain in the ass, but rare, fanny, something that's not ass. So I'm 
unfortunately wasn't able to make it back to the boss room before my 15 minutes are up, which is now. But I'm back inside the labyrinth at the very least. So um, I'm going to go ahead, call this episode quits. Um, thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for more. This is Fox1989, signing off.